If you're like me, then you buy your riding gear off of Amazon while you sit on the couch and watch Doug Mio's latest upload. If you're new to riding and your wife keeps you on a tight motorcycle budget, then you probably aren't going to be able to afford a $200 helmet, $400 jacket, and all the fancy tech gadgets. My solution to this problem revolves around everyone's favorite online shopping hub, Amazon. Amazon is truly the only place I could find affordable riding gear, so my wife doesn't kill me when she sees the cost of all my new toys. I've looked at Revzilla and my local motorsport store, and neither had anything relatively close to what my broke butt could afford. Some people might say, cheap isn't safe, but cheap is better than nothing. I took a 20 foot spill on concrete riding my old LS650 with short sleeves on and just a helmet for protection, and the two months of recovery were not worth riding without proper gear. If I was wearing a jacket, all of the permanent damage to my body wouldn't have happened, but we live and we learn. My choice of helmet comes in at $69.99. This one storm full face helmet has a module design and has a drop down sunshade. It comes with a storage bag and is very comfy and light while still providing ample head protection. This was the helmet I was wearing when I took a spill on my bike, and despite having a destroyed plastic visor, the helmet has no other damage and prevented me from having a concussion. Most importantly, this helmet is DOT approved, which is something you'll need to keep in mind if you're riding on permit. Most states will require you to ride with a DOT approved helmet while you're riding with your permit. My choice of jacket comes in at $59.99. This Viking Cycles Ironside jacket is a perfect first jacket for a rider on a budget. It has adjustable straps on the arms, wrists, and waist so you can get a nice and tight fit. It has a fully removable inner liner so you can keep your BO smell down and your cool level up. There are tons of pockets on either side, inside and out, so you can keep all your documentation, wallet, phone, and anything else you could need safe and easily accessible. It is heavy enough so you know it is durable, but light enough you won't feel like it conflicts with movement. The mesh allows the jacket to be breathable while still providing an extra layer between you and the road. It has armor in all the right places, elbows, back, and shoulders. I looked into getting some sort of armored or Kevlar pants to keep my lower half safe, but I couldn't find anything affordable. If you were super worried about protecting your lower half, you could get a nice pair of riding pants, but on a budget you'd be safe just wearing jeans with a tight fit belt. When I spilled instead of 20 feet on concrete, my jeans held up fine with no holes, just minor wear marks. If you do go down with just jeans on, be prepared for a few bruises, but nothing you should worry about. You can get durable jeans off of Amazon for roughly 30 bucks. The style and fit is up to you. You would think that gloves wouldn't be that expensive, but you'd be wrong. Revzilla's gloves are almost double what you could buy on Amazon for basically the same product. My trusted gloves are the free two fingerless tactical gloves with armored knuckles that cost $17.99. I like these gloves obviously because they are cheap, but also because they don't hinder your finger movements and provide a tight fit with much needed knuckle protection. They are breathable so you don't get sweaty hands. 
If you spill onto concrete, you will more than likely drag your hands, and without protection, you could tear your hand open. My knuckles were shredded from the concrete on my 20-foot power slide, so these would have been nice to have then. I've seen shoes range from $30 to $200, and the biggest thing in common I've seen with the shoes is that they are designed to be tight and are made of durable material. If you are fine being a cheapskate, then you can basically order any tight-fitting high-top shoe off of Amazon. I would suggest sticking to ones that offer comfort but are reviewed to be durable. The boots I was wearing when I spilled were $30 at Kohl's, and they stayed on my feet, protected my ankles, and only had minor tearing on the fake leather and laces. I'm glad my 400-pound bike didn't squash my feet. My suggested Amazon boots by Karkin cost $44.99 and are a tight fit with side zipper for easy put on and take off. They go high up on your ankle in order to provide ankle support and protection. They're made of durable material and have anti-slip soles, perfect for gripping your foot pegs and for rubbing on concrete. If you're keeping track, that brings our grand total to $222.92, not including tax. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get that order with free two-day shipping. I hope this guide to budget riding helps you find gear to keep you safe in the case of an accident and keep you within your wife's budget for your toys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more from Justin's Garage. Remember, drive fast, ride on, and live free.